Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors with James Holst and PJ Vick and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that thing. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Thanks for checking out today's episode of In-Depth Outdoors. I'm James Holston on today's show. It's gonna be me and PJ Vick out there on the ice looking for the next hot bite. And as everyone knows, the conditions of late haven't exactly been conducive to making a lot of ice. Uh, my point is, there's not a lot of choices out there. If you're looking to get out on a sheet of ice that is relatively safe, uh, there's very few places in the Midwest where there's safe ice right now. Those temps right after Thanksgiving that hit the mid 50s in the Twin Cities definitely didn't do us any favors. So when we were planning this episode, PJ, Vic and I put our heads together and we quickly agreed that it's off to Red Lake we go. Uh, Red Lake's got five to eight inches of ice and the bite has been pretty good. So come along with us. We're gonna be headed to Upper Red Lake. It's me and PJ, Vic today here on In-Depth Outdoors. Heck yeah. Feel like the right kind of business? It does. I feel head shakes. Right. Oh yeah. When was the last time you had fresh walleye? <laughs> it's been a little bit now. About a quick minute? I, I got a pretty good dose over on Lake Erie this year, but. <laughs> yeah, I thought you did. <laughs> is Come this on, a fat baby. head or a shiner? This is a fat head. I like it, cheap bait. Yep. Nice oh, fish. Oh, oh. Well, Very there's good. your one over 17. Yeah, beautiful. Sweet fish. That works. Heck yeah. yeah, I just started marking quite a few of them over there. I mm -hmm. think we're getting a little push coming through, which is a-okay -okay with me. It's not sunny, but I think getting that sun up a little bit's going to help. Yeah, having the water that crack clarity, through. Yeah, it's yeah. not exactly stellar yet. Yep. Yeah, nice that, fish. That one meant business. It is. Is it gone? It though? is gone. Yep. <laughs> well, you're fishing uh, number four rip and wrap? Yeah, number four rip and wrap, and I got it tipped with a fathead head, and I've been calling in a lot of fish with it for sure. Beautiful fish. That one's definitely and, and coming home. It's a good thing it's coming home with us yes. because that would not be a releaser. We'll put that one over here. Yep. But yeah, that's a 21 inch fish. Yeah, definitely. Beautiful start. Well, I'm going to grab a minnow. I brought the pail over, so okay. you're in good shape there. Good. Thank you, sir. Yep. Oh, outside one just popped. Ooh. Here we go. Just said it. Hey, didn't even get away from it. It's not as big as yours, bud. No, <laughs> definitely an under 17. Well, that's good yeah. because we can't have too many of them. <laughs> no. Well, this is sticking true to the report, which is it's a lot more action on the dead sticks. Yeah. Which in our world that means I fish pros. Yep. Oh, that one's up one. again. Yep. Sorry, bud. Yep. <laughs> hey, fish over there! Punch <laughs> your buddy in the face. There we go. And up here on Upper Red, you can keep two under 17 and one over. So that's gonna be one of my under 17s. In my world, that's a perfect eater. That one's still working over there? Yep, he's here. Yes. Got him. On. Excellent. There we Here's go. Here's your glove, buddy. Yep, thanks, sir. Got him. Excellent. Another well, perfect right. eater there. Good. Oops. Oop. I kind of broke that one off. I would imagine that uh, that line was wounded from that 
Yeah. This big one. That, yep. Not bad. Yeah. These ones are perfect for the frying pan. I, mean, I agree. He, he can, it doesn't get much better than a 15, 16, 17 inch. As so. long as it's under 17, you're good to go. Yep. That one's going to be 16. -ish. 16. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I like when you're setting them and you try to walk away and they go up. That That's a really good sign of what's to come. My initial, it happened so quickly, my initial reaction was I bumped it. Yeah. And tripped it off, but then the line was just going <laughs> <laughs> I could see that the yeah. rod tip bounced it a little bit. And then uh, the other one went off and I punched you in the face. So, yeah. Sorry about did. that. Yeah. Power your passion with Norse Lithium. Check your charge with the push of a button or power accessories with USB ports. Norsk Lithium combines weight savings and technology to achieve performance others can't. Four capacities are available, designed for the way you fish. Choose our ultra-lightweight batteries for smaller sonar units. Step up to our high-capacity batteries, designed to power live imaging and 360 sonar. Norsk Lithium, setting the standard for lithium batteries. Strike Master dedicated to continuous innovation. Choose one that fits your style. Strike Master Ice Augers. See the full lineup at strikemaster.com. At Humminbird, we make products that are always ready for your next adventure. With unparalleled mapping, sonar, and live technologies at your fingertips, to help you find, catch, and stay on more fish. Humminbird, simply, clearly. Got it, got it. Yep. I'm not seeing much. Oh, yeah, I am. Just a little guy. Little guy? Yeah. Yep. One Perfect one eater, man. Meters. Yep. Oop. Popped yep. right loose. Perfect. I'll grab you a minnow. Oh, thank you. All right, that's my second under 17. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna fish for a big, because that's perfect eating in my book. So what we're using here, you know, we've used the iFish Pros on this show a lot. What we love about them is, instead of uh, doing the hand over hand tip up thing, it allows you to have the flag, that trigger system, but you get to fight the fish on a rod. And what we're using here is a, a 32 inch dead stick. Uh, that is a, a, a Widowmaker from 13 Fishing. One of their Kalon 500s, or 0.5, excuse me. That'd be like their 500 size reel. Six pound suffix, advance. And then it's just the real simple stuff after that. It's, we got a medium size split shot and a number two VMC octopus hook. Some of the hooks that we're fishing are the, uh, the smallest size, I think it's a number eight uh, sure set. Doesn't really seem to matter. And uh, the last two that I've got in my book are just money eaters. Yeah, yeah it'll be good eating for sure. Thank you. All right. I'm How come they're always on opposite ends of the, the, the spread? That's the way this works. <laughs> it always is the way this works. Flag up right here, PJ. Oh, I'm coming. There. He's moving. Whee! He's <laughs> moving. Let's see here. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. Got him. Got him. Oh, I got a flag over here. All right, you go, go get him, bud. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. It's a doubly. Not bad. There we go. All right. And, and that's kind of what we're seeing here. I don't know, that's probably another nice 16, 17 inch here. I'm gonna let that guy go so I can keep fishing here. But we're watching these fish kind of move through in waves, you know. Um, and that's typically what you find on these mud flat lakes where these fish are schooled up. They're roaming, seeing as there is no real good structure to hold them into an area. You just get waves of fish that are moving down this break line. And that's what we've had so far this morning. When they're here, it's fast and furious. In between, it gets kind of slow, but the fast and furious stuff is a lot of fun. Thanks, sir. I lost mine. You did? Yeah, oh. I did. Completely my fault. That happens. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that one had it right in the beak where he was supposed to be. I like it. Yeah. One of those perfect eaters. Yeah, another nice 17 incher. Yep. Yep. Send it back down. I was just talking about how we're seeing these fish coming through in waves. Mm -hmm. I, that's totally what's going on. You know, when they come through, it's bing, bang, boom, and then the waiting game in between. I think they just shuffle on down this yep. break. Yep. We get them, the group 500 yards down gets them, and yep. then they bounce them right back to us like a, <laughs> yeah. like a pass. Here they come. Yep. Here, your guys' turn. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not like there's a great big structure Oops. out here, you know, super defined or whatever right. that's got them all clustered something up around the rock pile or something. Them. Yep. Oh, we got two oh, flags up. One. Oh, Bud, you got two. that one there? Yep. I got this one here. <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh. Got him wrapped around there just a second ago. All right. Yeah, he's still there. All right. This one tripped while PJ was fighting that last fish. He came we go. over. Felt for the fish, pulled double up on down, it. Double down, bud. Nice, another double. <laughs> you could just feel the minnow, the hook just getting pulled right through it. Almost had him. Reset it, he came right back and ate it again. You know, this iFish Pro game out here, it's pretty fun. Catching a lot of fish right now. We can't catch anything jigging. I actually got a really nice one. Do you? Yeah. Need a hand? Uh, I think I'll get him. Because I can stop gabbing. Oh yeah. Wow, look at that one. Perfect eater, back it goes. Back in the hole. Nice. Another one of those 17, 18 inches probably. And that was on the largest fathead in the bucket there. Yeah, that's a monster fathead. <laughs> Great fish, I'm gonna let that one go. Oh, definitely turning out to be a, turning out to be a fun day. I mean, this is a great place to come and just knock, knock the rust off, you know, get started for the season. It's almost always one of the first places to freeze and Every time I've been here, it, it's usually a good time. Catch a bunch of fish, a bunch of eater fish, and that's the way it's playing out today. And I mean, we've had periods where it's it's fast and furious when they're coming through. So that being said, they're around. I'm gonna get another minnow. At Eskimo, our pledge is to create products that will help you enjoy your time on the ice. The Outbreak Series offers a first-of-its-kind full-panel no-trip door. This means less hassle loading in and out of the shelter, especially while wearing bibs and boots. With five sizes of Outbreak available, we have you covered, whether you're packing light, fishing in a larger group, or ice camping for the entire weekend. To find the model that's right for you, visit GetEskimo.com. Strike Master, dedicated to continuous innovation. Choose one that fits your style. Strikemaster Ice Augers. See the full lineup at strikemaster.com.
Power your passion with Norsk Lithium. Check your charge with the push of a button or power accessories with USB ports. Norsk Lithium combines weight savings and technology to achieve performance others can't. Four capacities are available, designed for the way you fish. Choose our ultra lightweight batteries for smaller sonar units. Step up to our high capacity batteries, designed to power live imaging and 360 sonar. Norsk Lithium, setting the standard for lithium batteries. At Humminbird, we make products that are always ready for your next adventure. With unparalleled mapping, sonar, and live technologies at your fingertips, to help you find, catch, and stay on more fish. Humminbird, simply, clearly. Got one, jigging. Oh, nice work, Mr. Dams. Yeah, did it feel like a bad fish? <laughs> These have been hard to come by. This one, he wanted it. Every once in a while, you just find the right fish. And that is that Glow Juicy Lucy bull spoon. Lots of gold on it, little orange on the tip, some glow bars on it. On a dark day like this with poor water clarity, that kind of seemed like that could be the jam. And that's not a giant by any means, but he was, he was wound up. All right. There is just a, a lot of these fish in here right now. Great eaters. I've got my two under 17, so that guy gets a free pass. And here's that spoon. It's a really cool color. That's a 1 8 ounce, plenty weight for how shallow we're fishing. We're primarily today in about 9 to 11 feet. Like I said, orange on the nose, a little bit of glow on there. And the back is just a big chunk of vibrant gold, which is always a good color up here on Upper Red. And uh, tipping it with a minnow head, which I need. In-depth outdoors, spot on the spot ID. On today's installment of Spot on the Spot ID, we're gonna talk through uh, PJ and my basic approach to fishing Upper Red Lake early ice. Now this is gonna be a walkout only deal. Uh, the resorts are not allowing wheeler or snowmobile traffic at this time. Uh, so that means the amount of ground you're gonna be able to cover is uh, fairly limited. We're not gonna be setting off on a journey out to the middle of the lake. We're gonna focus on that uh, shoreline bite, which is honestly where the fish are at early ice. And by shoreline, I mean, we launched right here. That's at JR's. And the shoreline's gonna be this portion of the lake right here. Notice I didn't go any farther up the uh, eastern shoreline because if you're gonna launch out of JR's or any resort, you're probably gonna only go a mile or two. So what we've done in the past, that's always worked for us. We always keep in mind the need to get away from the crowds. Uh, most of the activity out of JR's is gonna be right out here. That's just the extent of effort that most people are gonna put in to getting out away from the shoreline and out away from the crowds. So what we've always done in the past is just come out of the resort, head on down the shoreline break. And at that point, once we get to a comfortable place away from the crowds. And we're not worried about, you know, a single person here or two people, you know, 50, 75 yards in the other direction. We're worried about half dozen, 10 ice houses and lots of traffic that goes with it. We want to stay away from that. What we did was came on down that shoreline, worked out away from the traffic that was out in front of the resort and got down into an area where you can see down here, there's just lots of, rubble and rock and different things going on there with a nice break. We actually found a lot of these fish uh, out at the base of a break in 10 to 11 foot of water. So we kind of found an area where there weren't uh, very many anglers around us. We settled up in that spot and essentially caught all of our fish right at the base of this break down in 10 to 11 foot of water. Now, I am confident that if we had applied this exact same approach going in the other direction, 
got away from anglers and found a, a decent shoreline break uh, out into that deeper water, that 10, 11 foot of water, we would have been just as successful. So the next time you're on Upper Red, keep these very basic principles in mind. You don't have to be a half mile or a mile away from the traffic. 100 or 200 yards is more than plenty and do find a way to set your, yourself up next to or near some shoreline structure. A break that goes from 6 to 10 or from 5 to 11 will really put the odds in your favor of getting in an area that the fish are moving through in waves. Introducing Suffolk's Advanced Fluorocarbon. A new level of suppleness. A new level of toughness. A new level of sensitivity. A new category of fluorocarbon. Hello, future. Power your passion with Norsk Lithium. Check your charge with the push of a button or power accessories with USB ports. Norsk Lithium combines weight savings and technology to achieve performance others can't. Four capacities are available, designed for the way you fish. Choose our ultra lightweight batteries for smaller sonar units. Step up to our high capacity batteries, designed to power live imaging and 360 sonar. Norsk Lithium, setting the standard for lithium batteries. Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com. Oh, power one. Your turn, James. Ooh. Hey. She's bucking. He's going. Oh, he's going. He's hooked. <laughs> Got him. Got him. That was kind of a no doubter there. Yeah, you could see that one was. He had it good. You know, I think what's going on. You know, the water clarity, it's not good, which is really common on Upper Red. Yeah. Right after it freezes, I mean, it's a big lake, it gets so windy, it just turns it up. It's gonna take there a while for that to clear out a little bit. Thank you, sir. And on it's these days, when you get this, this cloud cover, it's just hard for them to see. It is, yeah. yeah. Thank as you, sir. As far as the jigging goes, we've got them chasing us around a little bit, but most of them are pretty negative yeah. to it. You did have, a good fish come up and slap you. But you, have to, you have to bring that up right now. Yeah, huh? I did. I did. <laughs> I, I, I did screw that one up. <laughs> I let that one go. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. The flag. It was a fish. I don't know if it still is or not. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sir. It's not a big one. No. No. He's just extra spunky. I think you're gonna need it. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. He just grabbed that thing. I couldn't see the trigger. He just grabbed it and just sat, sat over sat on the over side. Sat side, yeah. I'm gonna sit over here and chew on this thing. Yeah. He just had this crazy snow squall come in here. <laughs> yeah, he's got that right. <laughs> yeah. Come on, buddy. Open up. Well, there's the fat head. Get that out of there so I can see what I'm doing. All right, got that out of there. All right, I'll hook you up. That, uh, the bobber stop did not slide. Okay, good. Back you go, you little buddy. Oop. Oh, outside, that's you, Peach. You got him running? He's not running, but I don't see the trigger, so. The last one I caught did the same thing. This has kind of been the, the lucky hole here for the last little bit. There he is. Got him. There you go. Decent, another. It's a ton of those 17, yep. 16 to 18 inches. 
which is really hard to complain about. No, it is. There we go. Gotcha, bud. Got a little snow squall go through there, and as quick as it started, it's pretty much over now. Yeah. We got some clearing behind it. And we, and we found when, when we can see that sun kind of poking through a little bit, that seems to be the better bite window. Yeah, on the jigs. Yep, for sure. You have your. You yeah. know, you know I do. Yeah, I know you always. Let me get that out of the way for you. There you go. Another one of those would be a great eater, but we have dinner. Off you go. You got to check the bobber stop. Or are we good? Um, I didn't feel it slide. I think we're good on it yet. Just go ahead and great amen, all right. There. The the tail hook has definitely been the jam today. I I uh, I think I'm going to check these middle two. Just to see what they're looking like, yeah. 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 They've been quiet. Yep. This, this one, one and the one. far one. Right. Which, when you think about it, we're standing in the middle of them. We're standing next to the two yep. that aren't going up as often. Probably just our noise. That's... Make, right. We both know it's always the hardest one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that snowmobile that's just pulling away just informed us that there's a crack opening up yep. between us and shore. Yeah. So everybody is now doing the mad shuffle off of, <laughs> off off of Red Lake. Lake. Yeah. <laughs> we had a great day of fishing. I, we were going to end it shortly anyway, so um, it's now it's time. time. <laughs> You'll understand why this is the uh, shortest outro ever. Yeah. See you guys <laughs> later. Later. <laughs> so that brings us to the end of today's episode. And as always, Upper Red Lake rarely disappoints. Uh, the number of fish that are available to anglers early in the season, really, it's tough to beat. Uh, you're not likely to run into a trophy but it is even more rare that you're gonna go home without a nice basket of fish. So one thing I do wanna point out before we take off is Upper Red Lake is definitely one of those bodies of water where it can be very challenging at early ice. You'll start to hear reports of five, six, seven, eight inches of ice, but that doesn't mean things are completely safe out there. But this is one of those scenarios that you need to keep in mind when you're going out on Upper Red Lake early in the season. I don't care where you go out, make sure you're getting a good ice report before you hit the sheet of ice. Uh, Timberline uh, in Black Duck's great bait shop. They've got the, uh, uh, the pulse of what's going on in the area. And if you're gonna go out of a resort, they're definitely gonna steer you straight. And the most important thing about that is listen to their advice. They'll get you on the ice. And of course, the most important part, will get you off the ice safe. So thanks for tuning in to this week's show. Huge thanks to PJ Vic. It was a lot of fun to get back out there on the ice with you for the first time this year. And I know we've got a lot of cool adventures in front of us. So to everyone that watched us this week, thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next week right here on In-Depth Outdoors. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at In-Depth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.